is Amir Sadala and I'm back here with another tutorial for you today. I've received a comment that in the previous video of how to apply for a job by using that website of Ajira Portal, there are some people who have encountered with some mistakes. So here today I'm going to show you how to go about or rather how to go through in case you make some mistakes now the first step you'll have to open your web browser now i'm using opera but it doesn't matter this is a jira portal then enter okay we wait for the page to open recruitment portal that is a jira okay then this is my web page now I love to log in because in the previous video I also thought you you are to use your email and password okay now let me try this one sadala.outlook.com then with password okay just trying to log in here okay this is my account in Ajira portal <laughs> sorry guys I have not uploaded every anything here that's why the completeness is 0% now here there is one of the comment from one of one of my brother who just made some mistakes there and now he was asking he has mixed the details in academic qualification now he was asking the way to delete them now here you have to come here with academic qualification at your dashboard there then from here you simply education level maybe for my case i can select uh, let me select the level which is a bit common here for the time being just guys but this video and these steps are only for reference you are to put the education levels which are precise okay that means the levels which are true or rather which are exactly the same with your qualification now for my case let me take just uh, this one here because i will be uploading i will be adding new qualification here let me put this ordinary level this is for four Okay, then I'll have to click here if you lost your certificate. It's not a matter. Okay, now I'll have to choose file. Then I'll have to go to my documents, see if I have my details, rather my certificate. Ah, this PCS. Many files. Now, I love to go and check my documents. Okay, here are some of my documents. Okay. Oh, I've not sorted them. This will be difficult for me to select which is which. But for instance, maybe I select this one. Okay. And then open. Now the file is already saved here. Now, for instance, I just need to view this file. Okay, this is my PDF here. Okay, now no file chosen. Okay, so guys, here is where you can solve your problem of just in case you have made some mistakes in uploading your documents. So simply here you'll do this way. So you'll come to your education level okay the place where you select you upload your certificate here now you have seen here i have selected already my ordinary level then i'll have to upload the file so simply i'll have to choose the file okay maybe i choose this one and later on i come to realize that this file is wrong so the simple step is simply you come to choose file again then you select your specific certificate and you upload after that you can save now 
in case just I have already saved okay in case I've already saved like that you see here it indicates that start date is required end date and the index number and some sort of things but here guys as I've been telling you from the previous video is that here with these applications you can come again and again to upload or rather to make some changes in your in your in your in your applications so simply here in case you've made the mistake so you'll come to the place where you selected your your education level anyway as a matter of evidence or rather evidence based let me specify each and everything okay let me specify each and everything okay so here now i'll have to put my institute name as like that way then i will come to choose file okay this is number three i think it is my form four certificate then program name it is cse i started in uh, this was 2012 up to 2015 okay i'll have to type my phone for number here yes then okay i was using division now it was division 2 with points 18 okay then i can save now as you can see here my information has been successfully saved now maybe i can close this window here okay then later on i come to realize that i have made some mistakes so simply i love to come to okay let me check here this is my dashboard 35 percent then let me check my academic qualifications okay add a new academic qualification now i just need to change the previous academic qualification here is where the issue is so here you can see here down here it is written save the academic qualifications guys be careful here you will have to scroll down to the save the academic qualifications then you can either view or edit so in case i want to view i can simply click this view okay and this is my certificate which will be displayed right there and then now maybe i just need to edit so here i'll come to edit action and from here edit is where i can edit my details so that's how you can do guys that's how you can you can do now let me delete this one because it is not no longer needed I just keep it for your reference guys to make sure that you understand this it was just for reference okay it was just for reference so that the simply way you could do so simply you come to academic qualifications then you have to edit okay academic qualifications it's right here i can need it right here. so I mean, let me leave it just okay so this is view and edit so simply come to edit then you edit your academic qualifications and i hope guys this video is going to help you a lot in solving your problems based on Ajira Poto. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Have a nice time.